Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be telling you if these brand new Aftershocks Open Move are the best affordable running headphones. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time around here, I want you to smash that ping button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the descriptions. Loads of cool things, including the link where you can get these, the brand new Aftershocks Open Move. Now, these things are 80 pounds here in the UK, but are they any good? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so running headphones. Now, I've done a, quite a few videos on running headphones. If you've not seen them, I would check them out. Um, and it's a personal preference, I think, which ones you go for. Uh, but the Aftershocks or the bone conduction headphones are my personal favorite. Why is that? Well, because they're safe. And I think it's so important if you are into music, you wanna to listen to your music while you're out running, it's really important to be safe at the same time and hear the traffic here, cyclists hear what's going on around you. And more importantly, if you're doing races and events, you can hear the marshals. Now the bone conduction headphones over here in the UK are the only ones you're allowed to use in races now. Um, uh, England Athletics have allowed. So it's another reason to look at the bone conduction um, headphones. Now Aftershocks make arguably the best bone conduction headphones uh, on the market. So like I said at the start in this video, I wanna take a look at the brand new Open Move. Now these are a sub 100 pounds uh, set of headphones. I'll get into some of the tech in a second, but yeah, I just wanted to go through it and, and talk about firstly, what are bone conduction headphones, just in case you didn't know. Right guys, so bone conduction headphones. Now, how does it work? Well, basically these guys uh, don't have um, speakers, they have amplifiers, and what that does, where they sit on your cheekbones, they send um, sort of signals or vibrations, uh, is the right way actually to describe it, through to your brain. What they're doing is it's vibrating and it's, and it's sending the sort of signals to your brain which creates the sound and that goes in and that's how they work. So what it does, it leaves your ear, uh, obviously I've got big ears so this is helpful, um, it leaves your ear open so you can hear natural sound coming in and this is transmitting the, the, the noise of the music, podcast, whatever you're listening to, through, the, through your bones, um, through the vibrations into your brain and that's how it works. It's really, really clever, the technology. Um, if you look at it, you would think, huh, how does it work? It's not, a, it's not a, like a speaker here that's playing music into it, it's actually working off of vibrations. It's really, really clever tech. And like I said a second ago, it's so important, I think nowadays, to be safe if you are listening to music and the bone conduction headphones offer that for us runners. Right guys, so firstly a bit on the tech and it's real quick and real easy. Uh, I think the best uh, thing about this is the battery life, which is six hours, 10 days on standby. It's got the latest Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, it's got a USB multi-point charging thingery jig or whatever they call it. Um, C port, that was it. And it charged up within two hours, which is awesome. It's water resistant, IP55, which is great. You can do hands-free calling on it. It's got multi-point um, pairing for easy switching. And that's about it. I mean, it's, it is as about as simple as you can get. In terms of the sound, uh, the sound has been slightly uh, tweaked and upgraded uh, over some of the other models. Um, 
and it is noticeable-ish, but I wouldn't say it's um, a mega change from, let's say, my other pairs of Aftershocks. Uh, not being horrible to Aftershocks, but it all sounds roughly the same. Uh, the buttons and stuff are here. Some of you are probably not actually, because it's quite dark, but the buttons are here, and the charging point is here as well. So, what are these like? Well, firstly, like I said, the sound quality is okay. I wouldn't say you're, it's like in-ear headphones, right? So it's not going to be like, uh, what's the, yeah, it's just not going to be like a, what you're used to um, if you've never had a pair of these. But it is amazing considering where they're sitting on your head and your ear. So is it enough to hear your music? Yes. Can you uh, take telephone calls and hear the person clearly? Yes. Um, is it... Uh, 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 is, is it clear? Yes. Um, the only thing I would say is if it's quite a bassy tune, it, the vibrations are quite a lot, so you might want to turn it down. And as well, if you're speaking to someone who's quite loud, uh, that can also vibrate quite a lot. But apart from that, considering it's not in your ear, actually the sound quality is brilliant. But I don't notice any sort of improvement over the recent models. That's the one thing I would say. These cost £80 here in the UK, which I think is awesome. The fit around the ears is noticeably tighter. I do feel like these sit um, further here. I'm going to probably over demonstrate it now, but they sit further here. I, I feel like they should be sort of here, but I can feel them here more than my other pairs. Um, that may be again because I've got big ears, but I can definitely feel them more here because this seems quite large versus other models. I don't know where my other ones are. I should have got them really, but it just feels, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at you by the way, but, um, but it just feels like it's more tighter here. I can also feel them more across the top of my ear versus other models as well. And I think that's a lot down to the thickness here. Um, but overall, the shape actually, I think is an improvement. It's not as big around here. You don't have a, a really wide bit sticking out, which uh, sometimes used to get caught on my um, hydration vest. So the overall fit is definitely a snugger fit than, than other models that I've tried from Aftershocks, uh, but these are noticeably bigger and you do notice them more sitting uh, closer to your ear. Again, it's it takes some getting used to with aftershocks and bone conduction headphones sitting on the outside of your face um, and on your head. It does get, get uh, some getting used to, but once you've got used to them, it's a dream. And that's the thing. You're getting here for 80 pounds safety. You're being gonna be able to listen to your music, your podcasts, and whatever else you've got while you're running, but you can be safe at the same time. And I think what, Aftershocks have done, they've created a real value proposition at 80 pounds to give you a, a pair of headphones that you can wear while you're running and just go out there and run but be safe. I think they've done an amazing thing to offer that technology at that price point. So I'll take my hat off to Aftershocks. If you're looking for running headphones, um, I can't, uh, yeah, I just can't recommend Aftershocks enough. They are the best, I think, on the market for what they do and it's so important, I, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's so important to be safe out there. I see people running along on the roads, across the roads with, you know, Apple earpods in or these, you know, the big ones over your head. How can you hear cars? How can you hear ambulances? How can you hear, you know, things coming towards you if you've got your ears contained? So do me a favor and get yourself some aftershocks. In particular, if you're looking on a budget, get these ones the open move, if not go up the scale on the other aftershocks. I can recommend the whole range.